Welcome to another edition of Utah Blaze. My name is Today Samson. Let us pray. Father, we appreciate you for a time like this. We thank you, Lord, for your love and your faithfulness. We pray, O oh Lord, as we study your word, you give us understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, it says, But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. God is not against us having a good time. Neither is he against us being happy. Exodus 20 verse 3 tells us that thou shalt have no other gods before me. What have you made God over your life? Is it social media, cars, your job, houses, money, and even friends could be God over your life? Truly, we are offered in this world more entertainment, extreme pleasures, and greater luxury to satisfy our discontentment. But the Lord is offering us peace and that passes understanding. What position have you placed your maker, your creator? How much time are you spending with him? Or have you made God second place in your life? Most pleasures can be obtained easily, but the love for God requires effort and sacrifice. How much do you talk with God and commune with him? It is common for people of this age to live for pleasure rather than live for God. But just because we live at this age should not make us conform to this age. Remember that even though we are in this world, we are not of this world. King Solomon gave an account of his life in Ecclesiastes 2 from verse 1 to 11 and concluded, concluded that his pursuit to acquire everything was meaningless and vanity. Let's read some part of, uh, of, of that particular passage. I denied myself nothing my heart de desired. I refused my heart no pleasure. My heart took delight in all my labor, and this was the reward for all my toil. Yet, when I surveyed all that my hands had done, and what I had toiled to achieve, everything was meaningless, a chasing after the wind. Nothing was gained under the sun. In Luke chapter 9, verse 23, it says, Then Jesus said to them all, If anyone will come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. A kingdom lifestyle is a life of self-denial, a life of total surrender and absolute obedience to God. It is not a life of self-gratification and self-will. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or fields for my sake will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. Matthew 19 verse 29 The benefits of loving God are often in the future and, and it greatly outweighs the temporal desire for pleasure. I am not saying that pleasure is bad, but God expects us to be responsible and self-controlled. God wants us to be a good steward of whatsoever He has committed unto us. I am saying our allegiance to God and faithfulness should always take priority. We should make Him the epicenter of our decisions and choices. In fact, true joy emanates from knowing God. May the Lord give you the strength to follow Him till the end in Jesus' name. Amen. Have you given your life to Jesus yet? Why not do so now? Tomorrow may be too late. The Bible says if we say that we have no sin, we will deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to, give, to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar and His word is not in us. If you are ready to give your life to Jesus now, please place your right hand on your chest, wherever you are, and say these prayers after me. Dear Jesus, I know you died for me. I forsake all my old ways. Forgive me of all my sins. Accept me as your son and daughter. As from now henceforth, make me your own. Write my name in the book of life. Help me to grow and develop in you. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you anybody that is hearing my voice that have said the prayers the lord will uphold you the lord will keep you i curse any form of addiction in your life be delivered in jesus name receive your healing 
anywhere you need healing in jesus name for in jesus name i have prayed amen if you have any questions or comments kindly put it down in the comment section god bless you in jesus name amen